Process Street's enterprise-grade permissions give you fine-grained control over which users and groups have access to your folders, templates, checklists, and tasks. First, let's take a look at how you can set permission levels for different types of users. From your organization manager, you can control which users are admins, members, or guests, granting them different levels of access in your organization. Guests have the most limited access, likely external users or clients, and they can only see the checklists or tasks that have been assigned to them. Guests are free users. Members and admins count towards your paid user licenses. Members have more access than guests, and their permission level on folders and templates can be set in one of four different ways, depending on what duties they need to perform. Can view own is the lowest member permission level. These people can only see checklists or tasks that have been assigned to them, and no one else's. Can view own and run is the next level up. This permission level builds on the one before, since these members can also run checklists. Can view and run allows these members to view all templates and checklists regardless of if they are assigned to those checklists and run checklists from any template. And finally, can edit and run is the highest permission level a member can have. For example, a member with can edit permission is responsible for editing and updating templates, while a member with view own permission simply completes the tasks in checklists they are assigned to. The highest level of user permission is admin, Admins can see and do everything, with unrestricted access to your whole organization. Sound complicated? Don't worry. You can add groups for members, making control of permissions a cinch. This also saves time and effort from setting individual permission levels. Let's take a look at folder permissions. You can assign users and groups to folders, giving them access to all of the templates and checklists in that folder, at the permission level you choose. Let's say you have a human resources folder. You're going to add the users or groups that you want to have access, and remove the ones you don't. The all members group is here by default, but can easily be removed. At a template level, you can grant permission for users and groups on a template by template basis. This allows you to have control over who can access specific templates. You can grant permission to access a checklist by assigning users or groups. And, for really granular control, you can set permissions on tasks, again for users or groups. Permissions are easy to manage, giving you total control over who can access your processes. Start customizing your permissions today. Sign up for a free trial at process.st.